Welcome back, adventurers, to episode 18, as we continue our adventure through the Rivington District in the outer city of Baldur's Gate. So last session, we started the Solve the Open Hand Temple Murders quest, and I ended up finding a flowery key that was in possession of a doppelganger assassin. But I'm not exactly sure what it opens up yet. And I did search around, I couldn't find anything in this immediate area, so we're going to hang on to that. And other than that, we're trying to get Gortash's Netherstone and Orin's Netherstone, as we already killed Catherick Thorm and took his Netherstone. And the Netherstones are what is controlling the Absolute, or the Elder Brain. You'll notice here that our main quest is either control the Elder Brain, we could dominate it and have a thousand kingdoms at our command, or destroy the Elder Brain. Which the quest description says that may be the smartest thing to do. Let's push on. I gotta find a trader here, a merchant here shortly, and sell a few things. Let's go ahead and check out this side of the Rivington District. It's probably like a thousand quests in this area. It's huge. Turn back, citizen. No passage in this direction. Why not? It's bloodier than a butcher's backyard out there. Piles of dead absolutists, and a few of our own as well. The cultists assaulted the gate, armed to the teeth trying to break in. They nearly had it too, before the Steel Watch intervened. Steel Watch? Is that some sort of fancy new rank of City Watchman? <laughs> a little more than that. You'll see for yourself soon enough if you head to the city. Okay. Wow, look at that. That is bloody. Looking ahead. Okay, let's go this way. If I was a Sharon this is the Gonna have to put some dye on my cape here. Not sure if that really fits my image right now. Young lady, Shadow Heart, a word if you No way. Okay. What a sight for sore eyes. I believe there's somewhere you're supposed to be. No? Long overdue, in fact. Do I know you? No, but I know you. I was told to keep watch for you and point you towards home should you ever appear. And lo, you have appeared. Spit it out then. Where is she supposed to go? Your friend is inquisitive. A dangerous trait. Are you sure you want him listening in on this? Yes. I trust him. Whatever you have to say, say it. Very well. First, you need to continue onwards into the lower city. Then, seek out a place called the House of Grief. It may not be quite what you expect, but I assure you, it's the right spot. Go there, and make yourself known. You will be given the welcome you deserve. Can't you show me yourself? Oh, no. I must remain here. In truth, I'm glad to keep my distance for now. There's been some tension in the ranks. Seems a great deal is riding on the outcome of your mission. Besides, I have business to attend to, wares to sell. Our great endeavor cannot run on faith alone. We need funds. Have a look, if you wish. Otherwise, I think we're done. Try not to dawdle too much in the city. Mother's waiting. The if House of Grief. For companionship, I hear they can cater to almost every taste in Shires's caress. I am not on offer, unfortunately. All right, so the only thing I bought from him, I sold a bunch of stuff, was a nymph cloak. You get Dominate Person, a level 5 enchantment spell. Make a humanoid fight alongside you. We'll give that a try sometime. I've got a long road ahead. Check out this building. Wonder if the gods are watching me. You! Turn around and toddle your way right back out of here. Everything in this barn has been donated for the refugees. Not you. Now piss off.
Is this really going to help the refugees? Look around you. These poor sods need all the help they can get. Now, are you going to clear off or not? Why does a barn need the flaming fist to protect it? In case little weasels like you come sniffing around. True. True. And why do you care about the refugees so much? And you don't, after all they've been through. And with the army of the absolute at their backs. If you can't see it, I'm not going to waste my time explaining it to you. He actually seems like a pretty nice guy. Let's talk to him again. Back again. If you don't have anything to donate, you can get going. Let's see what happens. Maybe... Oh, look at this. Donate 500 gold. Sure, let's do it. Thank you. I'm sure your contribution will be greatly appreciated. You seem pretty honest and genuine. Got ya. Too slow. Once we go back to camp, I also have to talk to Lazel too. Because everything that just happened with Orpheus, Lazel's going to have something to say about that. We discovered that an ancient Githyanki prince called Orpheus was being held prisoner inside the artifact. We should talk to Lazel. What to do? Can't stand her, can't stand her, can't stand her! My sister-in-law. All law and no sister. Mm -hmm. How did the wine sack get empty, Garen? somebody drunk it, I see a half-orc. Let's have a chat. Whatever you need, I can't help you. Even talking is painful right now. Let me take a look at that wound. Seriously? You know what? I'm using an inspiration point. After a quick examination, you conclude that your patient is pretending to be wounded. You wonder why. Really? This isn't necessary. I'm sure there are other people that need your help more urgently. This is barely a scratch. What's the idea? Shh! Not so loud. If those lads find out I'm faking, they might go off on their own. They're not ready for that. And frankly, I'd miss them. I don't really have any other friends, and I like those lads, so I think I'll stick around a while more. <laughs> We've got to get Grunch into the city, but he's in no shape to travel. I wonder, what if we hit him in a big barrel and nailed it shut? Nah. Okay. All right, let's head up the east side. Oh my gosh, we can get down here too. How big is this game? This is insane. A lot of dead chickens around here. Shut it. Scavenge whatever you can from this mess. Back off. I found these apples first. Didn't realize there was an extract all ingredients right there. That's cool. Now we have a ton of elixirs that we can craft. Arcane cultivation is really good. Once you get spell slots back, we'll make a couple of those. Perfect. Won't get a 
marshaling their strength against us. I do not like our chances. What have we got here? Rechte Hathran Rust. You recognize the words. Gur funeral rites. To hear them is rare. The Gur monster hunters are as formidable as they are secretive. Welcome, friend. You find us on a solemn day. I pledge your dead my respects. Your quarry must have been impressive. I see you studied our tongue, friend. You're quite correct. We underestimated an enemy. Frey, Valdisk Durovna. Frey, Valdisk Ablast. Our tribe left camp on a rescue mission. Only Alma and those you see here returned. What killed them? The wretched undead. Im Orak Nete Krasin Netra. I will say no more. It's not my tale to tell. No. That shame is mine alone. We would not normally tolerate outsiders at a time like this. Forgive me. I'm Wolf. The Slayer of Ketherick Thorn. Well, these are strange times indeed. And what's Ketherick to you? The head of the Shadow Cursed Warlord is an impressive trophy. I am wondering if I could tempt you with another. I'm already hunting another monster. A noble goal. I will not ask you to deviate from it. But know that this city holds other dangers too. In the city lives Kazador Zar, a powerful man, a respected man, a man known to host lavish, hedonistic banquets in his palace. But behind the facade, there is a monster, a vampire who has made Baldur's Gate a feeding ground and his palace an abattoir. For years, his foul spawn have stolen away innocents at night, whisking them back to his palace. Recently, they struck our camp. They took our children, every last one, our whole future. We suspect he holds his victims somewhere below his mansion. And we fear our missing children are among them. We tried to save them and paid a heavy price. But perhaps the Slayer of Ketherick could succeed where we failed. Slay the vampire, claim his head, and free our children. Please. Wow. A mission to slay Kazador Zar, Astarion's previous master. Astarion is one of his vampire spawns. I'll see what can be done. If you do this, our entire tribe will be in your debt. On our honor, it will be repaid. May the gods keep you and damn your enemies. We must be exterminated. Nothing that's for you. And if our children still live, what will happen to them? Your Astarion has something to say about that. Wow, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. I think those ships are probably supposed to be moving, aren't they? Maybe not. They might be glitched out a little bit. They were moving earlier. Might just be floating. And there's Worms Crossing Bridge, where we are going to be heading here shortly. To check out... Is that a tavern right there? Terrace's Caress. I don't think I have any dye in my inventory. Otherwise, I would dye his cloak right now. I feel like there's just so much to explore and do. Oh man, there's the Elder Brain. Wow. 
walk through this grass. That looks fun. <laughs> okay, let's go back down into the street. I think I will do that mission to slay Kazador, Zar. That sounds like a lot of fun. A little vampire mission. I wonder if I'm allowed to pick up this cat. Looks like I can. I need I need some camp supplies. Nice. Bunch of cabbage sitting around in the streets. With blood around it. Look at these guys right here, all of the refugees. Like their outfits. Okay, and that brings us back to the start. So let's come up here. Check out what's going on over here. All the characters that are talking to each other, I think, have dialogue lines when you're in the city. So let's see what's going on here, and then we're going to head towards the bridge. The place was empty. Keep those thugs away from my family. Denuvia! Get these Waters out of my house now! <laughs> Arthur, sweetheart, you paid me and my boys to be caravan guards, not cattle wranglers. If you want us to get our hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. But that'll be extra. She sounds like she works for the guild. Does no one we meet ever get along? Not if they're trying to help them sell to other people's property. I just want to remove these unlawful interlopers from my property. The tech thoughts delve into this frustrated man's mind. See what he truly wants. I can't let them stay here. What if the little brat gets into the basement? The basement. Hmm. I hear these sort of houses always have basements. What do you use yours for? My basement? Oh, nothing interesting. Just materials. I'm a craftsman, you see. This man is definitely lying. And he's really hoping you don't pry any further. Look, I have some very valuable components in there. I need to get that lot out before they damage something. You mind if I take a look? Who do you think you are? Zenobia? People are lining up to break into my property. Do something about it. You paid us to protect you and your high-quality merchandise on the road. And we've since arrived at our destination. As I said, anything else is extra. Ugh. This is the last time I hire someone from the guild. Here's the guild. Here's the extra. Finish the job. Uh-oh, we might be getting into combat now. Yep, okay. <laughs> the bad start with the guild. I don't have my animal companion out because we got counter spell here. What's he casting? Spike growth. Um, sure, we'll counter spell it. No resistances. Level eight human. Dimples Baxter. It's a hell of a name right there. All right, let's see. Let's do... I say we do... Could take advantage of some of our gear spells that we have here. Fire Shield Chill. Beckoning Darkness. Curse a creature to be haunted by darkness. It takes 2 to 16 necrotic damage if it enters or starts its turn in a lightly or heavily obscured area. We are in a lightly obscured area right here. Wonder if this would I think oh damn I didn't notice that. Shield blow. When struck by a melee attack, your attacker must succeed in dexterity saving throw or fall prone. Nice, that was pretty sweet. 
Yeah, I think this is also going to hit friendlies too, so I should probably not use that. I'll have to test that out sometime. Let's go ahead and start off with the Spirit Guardians. We're going to do Necrotic. Nice, nice, nice. I think I'm good with that. Then Jahira, we're going to have you call lightning. Awesome. And then we're going to wild shape into... Let's wild shape into... Like I always want to do the owl bear. Let's wild shape into the wolf. Shadowheart's going to be really scared now. We have inciting howl. Gather your pack. Giving everybody a 10-foot increase to their movement speed. Or exposing bite. Okay. Are you serious? I didn't see that. Dimples Baxter is a bard. All right, let's back Gale up a little bit. I'm gonna start off with a... I was playing an evocation wizard. I could do this in every fight. It would be so powerful. But I'm not, I'm playing a necromancy wizard. I don't want to have undead while I'm in the city right now because everybody's gonna be running from them. Let's start off with... Let's do haste on wolf. Blood comes easy these days. Go back into this little corner. Could probably get high ground act. Oh yeah, look at that. Alright, Wolf, let's see what you got, my man. Let's start off with the one that's gonna be easier to kill. Executioner, once per long rest, your next attack roll will be a critical hit. Paralyzing critical, once per long rest, when scoring a critical hit, you can paralyze the target for two turns. Excellent synergy. Hall of Thorns, let that go. Not too worried about it. Target's too far. There we go. Oh, nice. Damn, Jahira. That's awesome. Divine Strike, Nightshade, Poison. Probably going to conserve a few spell slots right now. Mr. Gale, what do you got for us, my friends? Guys got 8 HP, so let's go ahead and do a magic missile level 2. And we'll do. Actually, we're going to do level 1. May or may not kill that guy. So close. Yet so far away. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Like my character is frightened right now. Is unfortunate. Disadvantage. Yeah, it worked anyways. Oh, nice. I'm not frightened anymore. Waste a step. That's gonna be annoying.
Nice. So many animal forms to try out. Okay, we're okay. Looks like our first fight against the guild. We are 1-0, and oh, even though we did help them back on the beach. Hope the entire guild is not after me now. Has proven to be a pain in the ass. Be so dramatic. Okay, let's go talk to Ben over here. He seemed like a decent guy. We're definitely gonna be checking out this basement. Oh man, look, see they're running from uh this is the worst bug you can have in the game. Like any wild shape form or animal companion just scares everyone away. I don't even know where they went. Okay, Ben's coming back. Where did the other guy go? Lethargic! I see those animals are out of the picture. Can we stay now? Or are you going to turn us next? They can definitely stay now after that guy set the guild on me. Oh look, we can give him some money to stay at the inn. Yeah, I think I'll do that. You're much better off at an inn than waiting to get chased out of here. I don't want to take charity from some stranger. But... I will. For the sake of my daughter, thank you. We'll get going as soon as we've got our things together. I respect that guy. Now let's go check out the basement. Our first mansion. Do we have a latch around here? Do we have a... Huh. We got some fish in here. I'll take that. Fish fillet? Absolutely. Maybe there's a latch on the outside of the building. an entrance right here. Everybody's failing perception checks. Let me go ahead and give Shadow give off guidance real fast to Jahira before she enters the room. Hmm. What's that? And there we go. Question is, how do we get in here? Wonder if somebody has a key on them? Or we could do this. Yeah, what are you doing up there? Get your ass down here, buddy. Is that gonna hurt? Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Um well, we're gonna forthwith. Looks like Gal is gonna take some damage. Nine HP. Alright, we'll jump over. Yeah. It was easy to get up with Misty Step. Never thought about getting back down though. I think we're going to use the knock spell. Could try one lockpick with Shadow, though, to conserve my spell slots in case there's some monsters down here. Whatever comes, I'm ready. You got this, Shadow. 18 DC, wow. 
Alright, good start. Let's see how many lockpicks I have. Mm, okay. Looks like we're doing knock. I applaud your taste. Start using aid. Do aid level three. Step carefully. There's a trap. Everybody back up. Orin's little display was just intended to rattle us. We mustn't let her succeed. But need to stay alert all the same. We found the House of Grief. Your fellow Sharans are within it somewhere. What now? I need to reach its very center and confront the Mother Superior. Lady Shah decrees she is no longer fit to lead. There will be plenty of others there too. If we can get them to see sense, I would rather we spare their lives. I don't want to lead a congregation of corpses like Balthazar and Kethric. Yes, somewhat noble intentions, kind of. Alright, y'all, I need you guys to back up. Because I'm going to take a shot at this trap. Wow. Fireworks. Rigged fireworks. Never a dull moment. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Rigged fireworks everywhere. Rigged fireworks. Alright, everybody back up again. We're gonna take a shot. Yeah, that took care of that one. Step carefully. There's a trap. We're gonna send one person up on their own. We're gonna do shadow heart with resistance. And this room is crazy. Avoid that trap. Wow, the stuffed bear is a trap too. Best avoid that trap. We just gotta pull. Yeah, we'll over here. Nasty surprise. <laughs> I kind of like the traps in this room. Blackmail letter. Arfur, package still waiting for you at Felagears. So Felagears is actually a firework shop. In the city of Baldur's Gate. You better not be late again or we'll start to wonder if you're really as committed as you claim to be. Pick it up. Put it in the teddy bears. Make the donation. It couldn't be simpler, really. It's still here. This time tomorrow, we'll stuff you with it. As you well know, we've plenty to spare. Well, this isn't suspicious at all. I hope Arthur hasn't been donating cuddly toys to the needy. We found a blackmail letter in the toy maker's cellar. Something dangerous has been placed inside the toys donated to the refugees. We should find them and quickly. I'm ready. What? Let's go check out that barn where we met that nice flaming fist soldier. Because he said that everybody was donating to that barn, so maybe we can find something more. Still alive. So that's progress. Oh, 
better than nothing. They got you. Talk to our buddy Man Up again before we could sneak in the back. Got something else to donate, have ya? Persuasion, I need to get into the barn right now. Something dangerous might be among the donations. Got this. Seven. Ooh. Are you serious right now? Oh my gosh. There we go. I'm gonna let you through because I don't want to take any risks. But you better not be lying. The struggles of a low charisma adventuring party. Probably use Gale or Jahira because they do have plus one more than I do. I kind of like talking with my main character. It's okay if we fail, it's fun. All right, so he let us in. We're going to check it out. Why? All these goods have already been checked in. I didn't ask for your opinion, Fist. Fall in and do your job. <laughs> where do we go, man? Up? Anywhere? Start checking crates, I guess? They're all donations, it appears. Onions? Uh, you know... Man, I need camp supplies. I can't... I can't steal from the refugees, though. You know what I'm saying? I donated clothes. Purple grapes. You'd think the toy donations would be more obvious, so it's got to be somewhere over here. We persuaded Man of Nestor to let us search the donations within the requ requisitioned bar. Okay. Light on my feet. This looks like a toy place. Donations chest right here. Huh. Oh my god. <laughs> you were right. Explosives. Now give me some room. I need to make sure the rest of these donations are safe. Yeah, I'll let you do that, my man. I'm out of here. You try and find whoever is responsible for this. Okay. We're lucky to be alive. We found the donated toys mentioned in the blackmail against Arfur. We put explosives inside of them. We should see what he has to say for himself. Okay. See if we can find Arfur. Hopefully he's back at his house. Interesting little side quest here. There he is. The man who set the guild on us. Look, I really don't have time to chat. I'm sure you can find someone less busy to listen to somewhere. I found the toys you donated. Care to explain before everything blows up in your face? How do you... Whatever you think you know, I, I, I'm sure some gold would help you to forget. Keep your gold. I want answers, Arthur. I'm just a simple toy maker, an artisan. I don't know anything. They would have killed me if I refused to rig the toys. And they're definitely going to kill me now. That's pretty low. 
of Arthur. They? Who is they? I can't tell you. I won't tell you. I don't like this guy. Okay, let's do an intimidation check here. Tell me who they are, or you'll be dead before they even get to you. 15 with guidance. I only have one inspiration point left. You know what? Why not, right? Let's roll with it. We'll get some more soon, I think. There we go. All right, all right. Just don't hurt me. The teddy bears were an experiment. My greatest invention. A clever little device in their chest allows them to speak. But there's more. Smoke powder inside the device. I collect packages from Veloga's fireworks in the lower city and stuff the bears with it. Not because I want to. Because I have to. <laughs> Otherwise they'll kill me. They'd rather kill children than risk your own skin? It sounds terrible when you put it like that, but maybe <laughs> you can put a stop to this whole operation. I don't know who's in charge, but it starts at the fireworks shop. That's where the packages come from. Go there. Tell them Uncle Philogia sent you, and they'll show you the smoke powder. Lots of it. Hmm. Smoke powder. I told you what you wanted to know. Uh, now, will you let me go? His plea comes with an offering. A pass granting you access to the lower city. True. Hmm. And get right into the lower city and continue our quest to find the nether stones. I'm sure there's probably another way. Is this man going to continue to harm more people? Probably. The only place you're going, Arfur, is prison. You can't be serious. They'll find me. A cell won't keep me safe. They run this city. At least in prison, there will be walls to break through before anyone can get to you. What he did is pretty messed up. Holy crap. All right, all right, I'll go. But if I'm found hanging in my cell, it'll be on your conscience. <laughs> Like, I care. Oh, we're just going to trust him to run to prison. That's too funny. Oh, cool. Look, we got, um, nice. We got the admission pass still. Awesome. This pass grants access for bearer and entourage to Worms Rock Audience Hall. The ceremony of Lord Gortash's elevation to Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Wow. Being named Archduke. Time to pay Worms Rock a visit. Wow, this reminds me of Baldur's Gate 1 with Saravak and his coronate. That's that's pretty cool. Cool of Larian to do that. Okay, let's head towards Worms Rock. Go back up this way. I wonder if we can get in here. This is the carnival. Hold on. I think we're gonna have to try to get into the carnival. How could we how could we not do that? You know what I mean? Best keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched. Okay. Precisely. I've heard the Ginny is something else. This circus better be worth the hassle. Circus poster. 
How do we get into the circus, my friends? Oh, this is one way. <laughs> oh, this is going to be too good. This is going to be too good. We have... Oh, man, I don't have any short rests right now. Dribbles' show. This must be Dribbles, the clown, master of puns and punchlines, with Bitey Buddy. Okay, let's check out the show. <laughs> Buddy the dog is my very best friend. Do you know why? Why? Because with him, anything is possible. Way! <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Not to my taste, but I'll take a clown over some hack magician pulling peonies with his breeches. Did you hear about the scarecrow who lost a fight? Ooh, get off the stage. Oh, you hear that, buddy? We've got ourselves <laughs> a Debbie Downer. I'm like a heckler. Oh! Thank you to the loud mouth for volunteering for my next trick. Now, where, oh, where are you? Uh -oh. The hair on the back of your neck raises as a shiver passes through you. You, my special assistant, come on up. <laughs> I think my friend Shadowheart will make a far better assistant. Are you quite sure you have a friend called Shadowheart? Not an enemy. Oh, my heart. The enthusiasm is so much. Now, up, up, double sharp. Oh, poor buddy will think you don't like him. Right there. Oh, perfect. Go on, Shadowheart. I'd advise you find someone to taste your food from now on. <laughs> I just got disapproval, but she's still listening. That's funny. Just for you! Praise the absolute. What? Praise the absolute. That's a dinosaur. That was a very nice clown. Here comes the punchline. Yeah, we're fighting, uh, we're fighting dinosaurs. Backbreaker on Gale. Let's start off strong. We're gonna shield this. Damn, dude. The freaking clown for the hammer. Is this part of the show? Okay, what do we got here? Praise the absolute. I can't believe it. It's a freaking displacer beast again. That's amazing. Shadow whiskers. And then Crimson. Funny how they have names, because they're in the circus. Damn, that thing looks crazy. 51 HP. Okay. Well, let's focus on... I think we're going to focus on the clown first. And let's start off with... Oh, wow. This guy must be undead or something. Can't use hold person. Dominate person. Yeah, none of those work. 
See if we can dominate this guy. That would actually be nice. I think it must be humanoid. What do you mean? This guy is definitely humanoid. Doppelgangers. Holy crap. Okay. Only thing I think about Moonbeam is I can't move it when I'm in wild shape form. Probably actually not the spell that I should be casting. It's good to cast a concentration spell before you wild shape, but ones that you have to move, like Moonbeam, it's tough because you can't move it. But I already did it, so let's go wild. Let's go Owlbear. This guy right here, I wonder if what he's doing. I think he's helping us. Oh man, the Splacer Beast is getting out of control. Hey, nice, we have a bugbear on our side. I always knew I died at circus. All right, Shadow, let me have you. Let's start off with Spirit Guardians. You know what I should do? Let's see if I have a potion of speed. Man, I don't. You have the haste spell, though. So let's take Gale. Let's do haste on shadow. I think this is going to be worth it. I think this is going to be worth it. Except I don't have... Um... One can't always be a gentleman. You have haste prepared. There it is. Had the wrong character selected. For some reason, it's not letting me do Gale's turn. Even though we are in consecutive order right now. In the order of turns. Battle Heart's only got 11 HP too. Really use haste. Not letting me switch turns though. Okay, well, let's do mirror image. I'm about to die. And then we're going to drink a potion. And just hold our ground. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't let me do that. Okay, we got to get Gale out of here. See if we can get some high ground. Ooh, look at that. I wonder if that's where I want to go. Yeah, let's go up there. If it doesn't require me to take an opportunity attack, looks like it might. It's got to be an opportunity attack. Yeah, man, it might actually seriously be worth it. Because once I have him up there, he's going to be fine. All right, we're going to do it. 11 damage. Not bad. Okay, perfect. We'll back up. Oh, damn. That was a lot of damage. Okay. I wanted the clown dead first, so... Let's stick with that plan. Perfect. 30 HP. And why they gotta kill all the people watching? This is the animal tamer. That's a lot of damage. There's a lot of damage. Okay, the clown is dead. Perfect. We also have our crushing flight, and this could be really good. Damn, man. 
Every is that hold on, what is that attack? I don't I'm not familiar with what's happening right now. Permanently armed. Creature can't be disarmed. Corrosive spit. Affected entity's armor class has been reduced by one. The spit will keep eating away at his defenses. Next attack against this creature will be a critical hit. Thinking we probably want to take out the Displacer Beast next. Otherwise, it's going to keep making copies of itself. Okay, so here's where we got to start taking advantage of Spirit Guardians. Let's jump right here. Touch the Displacer Beast. Probably touch the Raptor, too. Not worried about the second form. Oh, damn, I'm getting an opportunity attack. I didn't think I jumped that close to the... Uh, the Displacer Beast's reach must be pretty far. You know what? I do have mirror images out right now. Hmm. Okay. We'll hold our ground. Come on, man. That was a level 4 spell slot right there. Perfect. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Jihira. Jihira's almost dead. I jumped a little bit too close to the Displacer Beast with Shadow Heart. It's making it quite difficult here. I could disengage. I think it actually might be worth disengaging and just running over here because I can probably kill that doppelganger and start working on these two creatures. So let's do that. Awesome. Perfect. Now we're in a great position. And I have an action left too. So let's go ahead and... See if we can get a Guiding Bolt. Guiding Bolt level 4. 88%. Okay, I'll take it. Six HP left on the Displacer Beast. So let's do Magic Missile. 
We'll do one, two. And then we'll put the other one on. Go after the dog. Target at a time. Another and there we go. Question is, how the heck do I get down with Gale? <laughs> Wait. We're gonna have to take a long rest here in a second. Wow, look at this building. This is the uh, oh, this is the open hand temple that we're in earlier. Beautiful. Like a haystack around here, I can jump on or something. That looks like it's locked back here. We probably want to jump on this side. Maybe I can jump to the cart. Lucretius, the bringer of the night. Okay, well, let's uh, let's do some looting and then take a long rest because our trip to the circus so far is turning out to be quite interesting. Thumb, we see it in you. The thirst, the art, the passion, the trail of cold, bloody murder you have left in your track. He's only the finishing touches to grant you a place among his favor, but he requires something truly magnificent. A circus has appeared, boasting a collection of misfits and ragtags, but more importantly, a stage. Now comes the performance of your lifetime, and when the curtain falls, the tribunal will be watching. Hey, this guy helped us out right here. I like him. You fight good. Doppelganger. Not so good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. A beast cage key. Okay. Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours. Oh, my bad, brother. He doesn't want me to loot flimsy. Sausage. Oh, Not I clicked on another one. Uses. Sorry, brother. I won't click on the red corpses. Or in toys with us where she could destroy us. Whatever her motivation. And this will be a nice natural stopping point for part one of episode. What are we on right now? Are we on episode 18? We'll continue back here in a few moments. Welcome back. Let's have a chat with our companions here. I want to talk to Lazel first about what happened in the previous episode when we were introduced to the Emperor, who was the Guardian, who we thought was that beautiful woman, but turned out to be a Mind Flare. But we'll have a chat with Lazel first, wherever the heck she is. And then we'll do our rounds to see if anybody else has anything to say, and then we'll head back to the surface, or head back to the circus. heck is Lazelle? This one I just saw her a second ago. Will, Astarion, Shadow, Gale. You at, Lazelle? There she is. The easy path. Orin, Skvar, burn away the shadows she hides in, tear off her mask. And you'd reveal her for what she is. A shivering child. I get the Yankee Prince. 
was bound inside the artifact this entire time. I can hardly believe it. Your parasite communes with Lazelle's. Her heart races as she learns of the events inside the astral prison. Orpheus, Gith's only son. He lives. It is not the Gaith visitor that Vlakith would destroy and Vos would set free. It is Orpheus, the blood of the mother, the prince of the comet. The blood of the mother? Who is he exactly? Listen close. The Emperor spoke only in half-truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Vlakith. Long ago, when we rose up against our gay slavers, Mother Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons. Gith remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom my people now call Queen. One hundred and fifty-seven? That's a lot of lacquets. Yes. Our current queen has claimed undeath and reigned for a thousand years. But it was the first whom Orpheus tried to slay. Orpheus was, is, Gith's only son. He led his mother's own honor guard in a coup against Vlakith I. It was Kithrak Vos himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle. Or so the Varshas teach us. Yet the Prince of the Comet's been with us, subdued by that repugnant Illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would tear Vlakith's empire to pieces and build new glory from the scraps. Then Voss was right. Orpheus is the seed of Vlakith's demise. The seed and the sower. Every word Voss spoke, he spoke true. Orpheus is the living proof of the Queen's lies, and the living weapon that conquered our Gaith slavers. One word from his lips, and the people would doubt. Two words, and they would rage. Three words, and they would bow to the true heir. If the Githyanki are to be free, the Prince of the Comet must lead the way. What about him? Why did Vlakith keep Orpheus alive all those millennia ago? The Emperor may be loathsome, but it's right. Orpheus can disrupt a gay hive mind. A talent like that makes the Prince a powerful shield and a powerful weapon. Why destroy a weapon like that when you can contain it in a relic and keep it for yourself? Why would Vlakith want Orpheus dead now if he's so valuable alive? A weapon is only an asset for as long as it isn't pointed at you. The means of Vlakith's own end has been ripped away from her. Better to have Orpheus killed than to risk his escape. Better to risk the rise of Illithids than let the Prince of the Comet deny her the godhood she craves. Hmm. Who are the hostile Githyanki in the prism? Orpheus' honor guard, loyal to the end. Trapped by Vlakith in the same prism holding their noble prince, fruitlessly hacking at the sphere that contains him. They see us as Gaith, tadpoled husks in the Emperor's thrall. I regret their deaths, but I pledge to live as they perished, in the service of Gith's son. And why is he called the Prince of the Comet? The historical slates describe Orpheus as a fearsome, terrible creature, powerful beyond measure, and enthralled by the Geich. So mad with power, he'd smash through the Githyanki Empire and deliver the shards to his illithid masters. And glowing with such psionic force that he and his red dragon blazed a trail through the skies. A lethal comet careening towards my people. Lies, of course. Vlakith spread a false image of Orpheus as monstrous betrayer, and her knights as the butchers who sliced him through. She was right to fear him, I'll grant her that. 
So great is the comet, it could shatter her reign. Really interesting because this is Forgotten Realms lore that we didn't know, and it seems like Larian has been given permission to continue on with the Githyanki story and the Orpheus character. Lazel is eager to speak to Kithrak Voss at Sheris's caress. He knows someone who can help free Orpheus from his prison. I have battled great evils, been mocked by villains of all sorts, but Orin, she is beyond even Thorm. Her mind is twisted beyond recognition. What is she capable of? And where will she strike next? Could it be true? Duke Stelmine allied with the Emperor. Mind flayers are like devils. They just sport tentacles rather than wings. Clever, manipulative, exploitative. The Emperor says he's a friend. I think we'd be fools to believe him. And maybe it's true. Maybe Stelmane allied with a mind flayer and subjected the city to their political will. Or maybe he made an offer she couldn't refuse. Did you know Stelmane very well back in the day? I met her twice. The first time I was a boy of seven or eight at a banquet in the Flaming Fist's honor. One look and I was smitten. Chestnut hair that flowed behind her like willow fronds as she floated from one room to the next as if carried by clouds. The second time, Stelmane was different. Even with the aid of a cane, each step she took was a struggle. Every word she spoke took great physical effort. A stroke victim, I asked Father later. No, he said, a stroke survivor. You sense uncertainty in Will's voice. He questions his father's explanation. I sense there's something more to this story, Will. Mm, something's always gnawed at me. At the banquet, Stelmane didn't seem to look at us, but through us. But that second time, her gaze never left me. It was steel, sharp and unyielding. It could just be my imagination. But I always felt that it was more than a stroke that had changed her. What, though? I couldn't say. I'm short on sympathy. She was partners with the Mind Flayer, the Emperor, no less. Actually, let's say... Gone before her time, it sounds like, what a tragedy. Not a tragedy. A calculated cruelty. Think about it. My father was Tadpole. Stelmane is dead. The people are frightened and the council's in disarray. To exert control, he must first sow chaos. A tyrant strategy, as father would say. These murders aren't random acts. Someone powerful is guiding the killer's hand, and the city is made weaker for it. Very similar to Saravak, who wanted to sow chaos between Baldur's Gate and Am. It's not enough. We have a gallery of villains to look out for, but now we could be infiltrated by a shape changer. I can't even tell if any of you are acting strange because you've been replaced or because this group is full of weirdos. <laughs> okay. We'll have to probably take a Starion when we go to Cazador's estate. So Bell's chosen is a doppelganger. <sighs> I should not be surprised. They have ever been among his favorite servants. Orin is testing you. Either she thinks herself a predator, playing with her food, or she fears what you might do. Good. She wants us paranoid, likely to make a mistake. Exactly. Hmm. The last time I fought doppelgangers, the Balspawn Saravok was using them to subvert the city government, aid his rise to power. But Orin, he's more predator than politician, I think. 
She simply wants to make us feel hunted, isolated. Tell the Lordling that Orin is watching. Seems that Gortash and Orin have had a little falling out. We should leverage that. True. How are you faring without your Harpers? You think me lonely? <laughs> in truth, I prefer travel in a small pack such as this. Unburdened by numbers, we're free to act rather than react. A little like the old days. With allies, every bit as peculiar. Give or take a few tadpoles. Then ask. <clears throat> And back to the circus we go. Let's go talk with Lucretius, the bringer of the night. Oh dear, screaming children and oozing corpse, and it's not even my birthday. Lucretius, ringmaster, necromancer, bringer of the night. Oh, and wine lover extraordinaire. It's a pleasure, darling. I thought the Absolute wouldn't dare set foot in my circus. To hmm. use such a woeful dribbles impersonator, why, it's downright rude. Yeah, I guess everybody at the circus isn't supporting the Absolute. An impersonator, are you sure? As much as I love a good murder, my customers don't. The real dribbles charms animals and makes puns. Awful puns, not this. Alas, I cannot afford to lose any more staff. Funerals are so very expensive. I need to move the circus. But I cannot leave just yet. Not without dribbles. He was a star. Customers of every color and creed simply adored him. I need him back, and I'll shower the person who finds him in love, adoration, and adequate compensation. What do you say? Dribbles is probably dead. Even better. Corpses are wonderful employees. They aren't picky about things like working from home or eating. Working from home. All right, let's talk payment. I'm expensive. Huh. I can respect that. And you're in luck because I am old, darling. Ancient. I have seen stars explode and civilizations fall. Along the way, I happened across items of such power that would make you weep with awe. Find my dribbles. You won't be disappointed. Okay, I'll look for dribbles. That's the spirit, darling. And remember, I look after those who make me happy. Hmm? Good luck, and thanks ever so much. You got it, Lucretius. Find Dribbles the Clown. Dribbles the Clown, star of the circus, is missing. Of course. Ringmaster Lucretius asks us to find him. He's likely dead, but that doesn't seem to bother her. Okay, well, let's explore the circus a little bit, I guess. What do we got here? A genie? Okay. Dribbles is dead! Joyous news! He was most irritating. Behold! Akavi's Wheel of Wonders is better than any clown. Okay. I'd like to spin the wheel. Let us see if you have luck's favor. How much did he charge me for that? Perception failed. Alas! No jackpot for you, ugly one. But you may have this. Can I spin again? Yes! How much is that Tell taken me from me? Coin, and perhaps you shall win the ultimate prize. See if we get another perception check. That wheel doesn't look fair. <laughs> Alas, no jackpot <laughs> for you, ugly one. But you may have this. 
Okay, I don't know if we're gonna spin again right now. Thanks, I, I guess. You are welcome, putrid one. Return again to try and you. Yeah, I probably uh won't be doing that. I think that guy might be cheating. He might be cheating. You know what I'm saying? Breastplate. Okay. Staff of a mumbling wizard. All is well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. What do we got here? Zara the mummy. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's do... Uh, Insight. Try to interpret her hand movements. You realize she is miming putting on face paints. She has them to sell. I'd like to see her face paints. <laughs> Dark amethyst dye. That actually sounds pretty nice. I think I'm going to take them all. I can do an entire armor set. And then we have the face painting kit. Disguise kit. And also a face painting kit. Let's buy one face painting kit. Sure, why not, right? Do we have anything we can sell? Let me sell a few of those. You're welcome. Alright, who do we want to give face painting to? Let's give it to Shadowheart. Ever since Shadowheart killed the Night Song, I feel like I can pick on her now. She didn't listen to me. Let's see what we got here. Face painting kit. Send to Shadowheart. Let's see what this does. Clown face paint. Maybe I can turn her in and act like she's dribbles. Okay. Very cool. Let's go ahead and dye my character's entire armor set right now. I would like some better boots before I do that, but... It is what it is. Let's go. Combine. Here we go. Start with a cloak. Not even gonna look until it's done. I didn't really do much for the... For the armor. I love the gloves of missile snaring. I've had them for a long time. That's a red cap walking by. Okay, now we kind of look... Um, okay, I don't think that's the look I was going for, but... Now we look like we're a worshipper of Shar alongside Shadowheart. Oh, we got a bard over here. Later. Not now. Oh, that's nice. I like how it's a red dragonborn. These boots have seen everything. Ah, scummy ball bag, move! My gods to clean. <laughs> He's the janitor. Okay. Ooh, Zathino. This is interesting. Violence erupts here. My home. My refuge in this city of stone and steel. Your eyes, Stira. There is pain, endless and deep, but also devotion, blazing like the sun. You're in love, are you not? Uh... You know, it's interesting, because I feel like my character has grown quite close to Shadowheart. But everything that just happened, you know, has created some complications in my character's mind. Let's go ahead and tell her that I do love someone. Someone close to me, actually. You are wise to admit it. When it comes to love, vulnerability is armor. Truth 
a sword, and trust, a shield. I pray you wield all three, Stira. Bring the one you love to me. I will look into your hearts and see if your love is eternal or doomed eternally. I think I'm in love with Zathino now. Okay, let's do this. What do you say, Shadowheart? Love, is it? I hadn't realized I'd bowled you over that much. <laughs> Give it a try then. Impress me. With the face paint. Close your eyes, little ones. Be still as stone to earth. And remember to breathe. What the heck is going on right now? I see you. I see the bond between you. So tender. So fragile. But do you see it for yourselves? Shadowheart. An endless storm surges behind sharp eyes. Listen. Think, from where does Shadowheart draw comfort on a cold, dark night? Oh no, am I getting quizzed right now? <laughs> Judging others. A blanket? I see. Are you sure you don't want to quit while you're behind? Damn, that's a bad start. <laughs> All affections face their trials. Your bond quivers, but it does not yet break. The heart craves comfort, but needs respect. How does one earn the dark-haired maiden's respect? Gettle's not too happy right now. Farting on a salunite? <laughs> I almost have to choose that right now. Oh, man. I, I think I have to do it. I'm doing it. I would never. Oh, damn it. There is hollowness between you. Something brittle and strained. We must dig deeper. Grasp the pain hiding within. Shame sits in the soul of all. To tame it, we must name it. Shadowheart, what is her deepest shame? Okay, let's get serious now. She doesn't know who she is or where she belongs. I didn't think a little game would sting so much when I agreed to this. But you're right. I suppose I should be grateful. You helped me shed any illusions that you might have been paying attention. Thank you. <laughs> My character's like, oh Your shit. Your bond is false. And I know why. Because your heart belongs to another. Close your eyes. And she will show herself to you. Oh my god. Still rolling in the muck, I see. Gortash knows you are coming. Knows you have the Bone Lord's stone. Do not let him hiss hot air into your worm weaken. <laughs> this wretch following in your worm wake won't help you. Your bond is brittle. The kind the tyrant longs to break. Remember, his throat spits lies, but my blade carves the truth. 
You will read it on your skin soon enough. She's toying with me. What does she want? Well, that was interesting. Wasn't too good for Shadowheart. My relationship, but... It is what it is, you know? Got a method over there. Bony. And a kobold. Hopper. Oh, clown man is dead. Oh, well. Want a treat <laughs> Let me see what you have. Yes! I has lots of stuff just for you. I love this little guy. Dark displacement gloves. You gain a plus one bonus to attack rolls when throwing. You may swap positions with a target. That's pretty cool. Arrow of transposition. Teleport wherever you fire this arrow. That's pretty cool. Let's pick that up. Might pick up the potion of flying too. You never know you're going to need it. Okay. Bye bye now. See ya, Popper. And there is Lucretius. And it looks like her hut. What is that right there? Gorilla. Okay. What the heck did I just witness? Looks like we're pretty much level 9 right now. My character and Jahira are lagging a little bit behind, but I'm going to level up once I get all of them at the same level. That way I can create one save point, which is easier for me when I come back to make class guides and things of that nature. Hope we have a dirt mound right here. Yeah, we must be. Yeah, we're only a few points behind. Um, a wooden casket. Oh, no. Brilgore. Mephistopheles Tiefling. Um, looks like we can pick the entire body up. I wonder if that's... Oh, I think I just jammed his head into the wall. Brilgore, okay. Let's do Speak with the Dead. That actually might be a good idea. I don't think this is the clown, but... The corpse regards you lifelessly. How did you die? Yes. Once. Paralyzed. Who killed you? Dwarf. Red clothes. Stranger. Um, I think we just saw a dwarf in red clothes, if I'm not mistaken. Where did you die? The tunnels beneath temple. Hidden from sight. I think I've already been to those. Were you alone when you died? Father Lorgan, helping me. Oh, okay. Why was he helping you? This, after me, needed to hide. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Okay, so not related to the clown. Related to Father Lorgan. I knew I recognized that name from somewhere. Oh, nice. Got a potion of flying. I just bought one of those. And look at this. How beautiful. The city of Baldur's Gate is just left of that mountain right there, just west of Duskhawk Hill. Might be able to see it, actually. There it is right there. We're heading that way. And there's the cave that I was in earlier. Okay, all of my characters leveled up, so let's go ahead and create a save point. And we will now be reaching level 9. Level 9 out of 12. 85 HP. Level 3 spell slots unlocked. Let's see what we should take here. Lightning Arrow, Conjure Barrage, Daylight. 
I think I'm going to take plant growth because I took spike growth before, which is a really good spell, but it does require concentration. And I am a ranger that likes to use hunter's mark. So let's take plant growth. And my ranger can actually run through the difficult terrain unaffected. So that's nice. Maybe I should have replaced spike growth. Oh well. Good to have it. There's multiple enemies and I want to deal damage to them. Okay, we have level 5 spells now as a wizard. Cone of Cold. Cloud Kill. Really good spell. Conjure Elemental. Bend the barrier between the planes until they disgorge an elemental ally to follow and fight for you. I think I'm going to do that. It doesn't require concentration. That's actually really nice. And then we probably want to take a lower level spell. I think we're only going to have one level 5 spell slot. I've been wanting to take Banishment for a while. Yeah, we're going to take Banishment. Temporarily banish your target to another plane of existence. And I already have Telekinesis because of one of the items that I'm wearing. Shadowheart. Okay, we have level 5 spell slots unlocked, level 4 spell slot unlocked. Contagion. Dispel evil and good. Flame strike. Make a pillar of divine fire roar down from the heavens like the wrath of affronted angels. That's awesome. Greater restoration. Insect plague. Mass cure wounds and planar binding. Target an otherworldly creature and attach its consciousness to your own. It will follow and fight for you. Then we get dominate person and seeming. Disguise up to four members of your adventuring party as part of our trickery domain subclass. Okay. And then Jahira. We are getting Conjure Elemental. Oh, that might actually be pretty good. Especially with her. It doesn't even require concentration. I have two Elementals on the battlefield. Contagion, Greater Restoration, Insect Plague, Mass Cure Wounds, Planar Binding, and Wall of Stone. Okay. All of Stone's probably going to be pretty good for crowd control. And let's head off. We're heading towards... I guess the bridge right now. I don't see any signs of the clown around here. And we are currently stuck... ...on the temple murder quest. Gotta find a place for the flower key. Let me run past all these graves here. Geshan Kerkoros built the Open Hand Temple, gave all in his name. We honor their life and legacy. Make sure there's no like perception checks Unknown or anything. child and her dog, who stood watch over her grave. May they be reunited in Ilmater's grace. Actually, you know what? Let's take Gale and let's let's animate that dead body. <laughs> that way. Actually, there's not enough bodies around here. I know everybody's going to be running, so. why well, I don't have my animal companion out right now. Hey, what are these guys doing? Gal and Jahira can't make that jump. There you go, buddy. Oops. Wherever we go, ye gods, let there be something green. Let there be something green. Swift as my feet can carry me. Well, can I use Speak with the Dead on the Doppelganger? No. Corpse remains silent. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Oh, wow. Holy cow. I didn't think I would be able to do that. The creature that I killed. What happened to Dribbles the Clown? I killed him. 
bathed in his blood. <laughs> A death worthy of the list of the tribunal. Guys, freaky. What's the tribunal? The greatest honor of them all. You can speak a little faster, buddy. Where is Dribble's corpse? Mistress needed his body parts for her art. That's concerning. You singled me out from the crowd. Why? I saw in your eyes what I see in my own death. Who are you? I am the spell's power. Wet. All right. Let's head on out. That Dragonborn is still playing his song. I respect it. Oh my god. <laughs> What's happening right now? We'll find a way jump, wolf, jump! You have my I tried. There we go. Oh man, I keep getting caught up. <laughs> okay, alright. Everybody come out. I don't want you guys getting stuck in the wall. Let's, um... It's gonna be faster for me to just go to the waypoint. One of the doppelganger assassins underneath the open hand temple had a strange flowery key. Okay, so we know that Dribbles... Dribbles the clown star of the circus is missing. So we know that Dribbles' body was being used by his mistress, whatever that means. Let's go check out down here. This is the smithy sign. Maybe we should stop in there real fast. Rivington General. General store. Hi, welcome to the Rivington General. Uh, browse carefully. The weapons are sharp. He seems nice. Hi. Want a blade, or a bow, or a dagger, or maybe a spear is more your thing. You look like you know how to use a spear. By spear. What'd you say? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you could say tone down the excitement, will you? Oh, yay! Swire's sled board, plus two armor class, and you get shield bash, which I already have. Bone spike garb, very rare clothing. You gain 15 temporary hit points whenever you rage. That's barbarian clothes. The dancing breeze, that's cool. Arrow of aberration slain, deals double damage to aberrations. You know what? Honestly, it, I, want, I feel like that might be a good idea. With all the aberrations, we might be possibly seen. Or will be seen. I'm going to forget that I bought it, though. That's the thing. In a plus one bonus to initiative rolls. Well, maybe we'll get you here on some new armor here. Started. Breastplate plus two, you take one less piercing damage, balance, gain a plus one bonus to dexterity saving throws and checks. This is half plate armor plus two. Take two less piercing damage. And we have rare heavy armor. I think I'm going to buy this right here. Medium armor at 17. I think that's really good. Oh, that's expensive. Holy crap. 
Okay. Maybe not. Might come back for that. Welcome to the Rivington General, home to crafts by the illustrious Gildro Angeline. Speak to his assistant only, as Gildro is super busy. Okay. All right, and there's a picture of Gortash right there. Heroic portrait of Gortash. And then the circus poster, and then a picture of Baldur's Gate. I remember Larian showed us a screenshot, actually, of this board with the windmill in the background. None of us knew where it took place. Now we know. Refugees. Oh, wow, look at that. That's the Steel Watcher. Holy cow. Fascinating. Lightning resistance. Okay, looks like they're blocking the bridge. But let's walk up and see what happens. I'm gonna hit F5. Halt! By orders of Lord Gortash, refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. I have urgent business in the city. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? 200 gold. I don't need money to support myself. I can forge to survive. I don't think that's going to work. Okay. I can take care of myself. Right. Article 30.1.5 of the Council's Decree on Extraordinary Wartime Measures. I am confiscating that. The city thanks you for your contribution. Your name? Uh, I'm, I'm called Daisy Dewdrop Fluffington. Well met, citizen Fluffington. <laughs> Your parasite stirs. From the construct, you feel connection, resonance. Uh oh. What in the nine hells is that thing? I am a steel watcher, citizen. Here to serve the people of Baldur's Gate in the name of Lord Enver Gortash. State your business. I'm a herbalist by trade, Sir Fist. My assistants and I were out collecting blooms for that rub rot going around. Oof, nasty business. Contagious. Uh huh. Eyes open, body still. Why? The Watcher will communicate with our new intelligence directorate. They'll determine if you're a threat to the city. Upstanding citizens have no reason to fear. And you are an upstanding citizen, aren't you? Yeah, that that's not good. That's definitely not good. We just communicated with this... On second thought, I'll come back later. Communicate with the head of intelligence? We just killed Catherick Thorm and Gortash Nose. That will make a great headline. Um, okay. Well, we gotta get onto the bridge at some point. Let us talk to him. And that looks like our way right there. See if we can get down here. We'll sneak past the steel watch. If not over, then through. If I can make this jump, looks like I can. Actually, not that far. Well, this is cool. 
Wow. And we are back on Worms Crossing Bridge. Last time I was here was the last time I played Baldur's Gate 1. It didn't look anything like this. I'm not sure if I should go that close to the front again. There's Sheriff's Caress. I gotta do my casting. I'll give you guys a nice view while I do my ritual casting. You can see the city in the distance. We're gonna do aid. I wanna start using that a little bit more. Wow, aid level 5 is 20 healing. I would actually do that, but I want to try out the level 5 spells. Let's do level 4. And speaking of that, let me prepare some of our new spells here. Let's get rid of... Your wounds, and let's pick up... We get one level 5 spell slot. I think I want to try flame strike first. And then we'll also pick up Mass Healing Word. I'll have that on. And then for Gale, let's go ahead and pick up Conjure Elemental. And we'll get rid of Tentacles. I think we're good to go. Let's be on my way. A little waypoint right here, too. Worms Crossing. And this place has been a haven. Alright, we're gonna go in there in just a second. I just want to see what's up here. Look at the level of detail in this game. It's insane. How else was I supposed to see the rock dicks? Okay, let's go to Sharessa's after we check out up here. Dantelons is up those stairs, and his home blooms beside the door, so the Harpers are waiting too. Welcome to Dantelons Dancing Max. Our stock isn't used, it's tried and tested by the finest adventurers. This guy needs a stool. Greetings, sir. Your noble bearing brings a little class to my humble... Oh, you can turn off the charm, Enthral. He's with me. Blueberries. Thought I had a sale. <laughs> you look tired, Harper. I missed you, too. They're already here? Down below. Here's the key. Pleased to meet you, Harper and Tharl. You seem a nice sort, so I'll assume the insult was accidental. <laughs> and Tharl's no Harper, and claims no love for those who are. But he's been known to shelter us when we need it. And Tharl has been known to charge rent. Harpers have been known to ignore him. <laughs> now go on. The short father may send me an actual paying customer today. To buy? <laughs> You're already my favorite. Man, a lot of these vendors in Act 3 have a lot of rare items. Targets have disadvantage on saving throws against your maneuver and weapon actions, so really good for probably fighters. Horns of the Berserker. I could probably use that. 
Gain a plus two bonus to attack rolls when attacking creatures that have already taken damage. Wow. Unarmed and melee attacks will deal an additional two necrotic damage. As long as you don't have your full health. Okay. If you don't deal any damage this turn, you take you take one to four necrotic damage at the end of your turn. Interesting. I think it's worth it. Especially with my character's insane movement speed. I say we buy it. Lightbringer, that's cool too. Attacking gnomes or dwarves with this weapon receives a 1d4 bonus to attack and damage rolls. It looks like he also sells the armor I wanted to buy before, but it's just too expensive. Alright, we'll pay that. There you go, buddy. A pleasure. Jakira needs more friends like you. No problem, sir. Right, Sommy. You're on the door till our friends are done. Gods forbid we do any business today. Whoa. That is cool. Alright, let's see if we can find the basement. You break it, you well, knowing Enthal, it was already broken. <laughs> The NPCs have personality in this game. How to get to the basement. Harper. We'll just click in the basement. I feel like I'm playing The Sims right now. Hi, Harper. May Saluna's tears shine on this meeting. A very formal greeting, Geraldus. You are well? Yes, a high harper. Uh, standing beneath Saluna's tears. The lad's a little nervous, Jahira. We heard of your great victory against Ketherick. Geraldus isn't nervous, he's terrified. And he's using Saluna's tears as some kind of code. I understand, Geraldus. Take a moment. And you, Harper. Mm. There is something familiar about you. Doesn't she remind you of our old friend Marcus? Jahira's meaning is clear. Marcus was a traitor laying a trap. The same, it seems, is happening here. Marcus was from the Last Light Inn in Moonrise Towers, the one that took Isabel. We killed him at Moonrise. I don't think we want to say that out loud. Remain silent and wait for Jahira's signal. The problem with Marcus, of course. We didn't end on the best of terms. Oh, damn. Holy crap. Oh, they're doppelgangers. When you inspect them. Everybody's a doppelganger in this place. I like that. Base looks really similar to a halfling in the druid's grove. What must be done? One of the shadow druids. Okay, let's start off with let's conjure an elemental. Yeah. And we will do a water elemental. I want to see what that looks like. Wow, look at that. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Alright, and you know, I should do a concentration spell, but let's go into wild. Let's go into owlbear form. Stalking. We have multi attack and also winter's breath. Inhale a freezing torrent of ice upon your enemies. Burning targets undergo rapid cooling and become brittle.
<laughs> That's awesome. Holy cow. Elemental warp. Surrounded by silver mist, you teleport an unoccupied to an unoccupied space that you can see. Yeah, I think I like these elementals. Alright, whose turn is it? Shadowheart's turn. Let's see what we want to start her off with. Maybe we'll do Bless. It's been a while since I've done Bless. Hold off on Spirit Guardians for once. Or we could try one of the new spells. Hmm. Let's see what we got for level 5 spells. Flame Strike. Make a pillar of divine fire roar down from the heavens. I think I want to see what this looks like. So let's try it on... I guess we'll try it on this character. Whoa. Damn, that was a lot of damage. She's got one HP. All right, Wolf. Let's get you out there. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew that was going <laughs> to... When I saw my character running, I knew that I wasted my attack. Oh, my God. Nice. Concentration broken. Yeah, there's only one left. Watch this. Oh, I thought he was going to go flying off. Damn it. How many has she brought to Baal's side, I wonder? You alright? You're all this? How oh, high? Did I... Uh, did I get it right? Shalunis tears. It is said no false face can stand beneath their light. An old code harper, but yes. You got it right. Now I need your report. We had eyes on suspected cultists in the city, like you asked. We thought we were tracking them, but... They were tracking you instead, evidently. Doppelgangers. Everything seemed fine until your latest orders. Until we started to search for the Rajima. They struck the same night. I woke to one of them strangling Chelvin. ...while smiling at me out of her face. I do not expect you to die for me. But to risk Antharl... ...any citizen who might have wandered in... ...there is always a choice. And the Harper must be able to make the hard ones. Perhaps this isn't the life for you after all, Geraldus. No, Jahira! Hi, Harper! Please! I'm still a Harper. I want to help! This work isn't for everyone, boy, and there is no shame in that. Go home to your mother, and leave the test to us. Yes, High Harper. Just Jahira to you now. Go on. I have all the help I need. And some explaining to do, it seems. Wow. Here is tough. It was tough in BG1, too. Let's have a chat with her and see what she has to say. Everything. <laughs> Orin knows the hunt. In one stroke, she places the Harpers beyond our reach, separates us from our pack. Until we know who the false facers are, we cannot trust anyone beyond ourselves. We're isolated. 
That is exactly what Orin wanted. And I was so busy telling you not to take her bait that I scarcely felt the hook in my own mouth. I have not been overly generous with the truth. I came here to learn of the Chosen, true enough. But I set my heart for searching for someone else, too. Tell me, what do you know of a man named Mintz of Rashomon? No way. The name is as familiar as Jahira's own. A hero of the Time of Troubles, who saved the city more than once. He traveled with you back in the old days. I sense you mean no insult, calling scarce a century ago the old days, which is considerably more insulting. Minsk is an old friend, perhaps my oldest. We fought at one another's backs times beyond counting. And the last time I saw him, I left him to die. As someone who played the original games, and actually the most recent run that I'm on right now, I have Jahira and Minsk in my group together. Her saying that just makes me feel so good. This is so cool. What happened? Before we ever heard of this absolute, we received word of a gathering in the Undercity. What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there, cut off at the root, but before I could send for help, Minsk charged in alone. <laughs> it was chaos. He was overrun, dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us, or leave him and live to fight another day. Sorry, Jahira. That's a cruel choice to have to make. The world takes much from those who presume to defend it. But sometimes, you get to take it back. So don't be sorry, because I mean to use you, if you're willing. Infection, indoctrination, eradication. That has been the fate of everyone the cult has captured so far. But it has not been yours. With your help, perhaps it need not be Minsk's either. We're going to be on a quest to find Minsk and maybe Boo, his miniature giant space hamster. And why are you only telling me this now? Because I was playing the pragmatist and writing my friend off for dead. Then I met you. If I seem suddenly flushed with hope and soft feeling, you have only yourself to blame. Oh, the point is moot without the means to find him. Without the Harpers, we shall have to find another path. I'll have a better idea of what that is once we're through the gates. Seems I need to reacquaint myself with this damned city. Here is Harper. Rendezvous turned out to be an ambush by doppelgangers. He revealed that she was hoping for information on an old friend who was taken by the cult, Minsk of Rashomon. She will search out a new way to find him once we reach the lower city. Can't wait to do that quest. Can't wait. Okay, let's do a little looting. Look at this guy, he's hanging there. Okay. Actually, you know what? I kind of wish I want to talk to Antharl, see if he has anything to say about that. 
Well, Who's this guy? Robert Silt. Seems hard to imagine your effort. You look like someone whose soul needs feeding. Care to buy some art? <laughs> I'll take a look. Oh, he's got all the dyes. Baywild Green. That's cool. Do come again. Oh, what just happened? Try that again. Buy a painting. Go on, treat yourself. And we have paintings too. Red dye. You know what? I think it might be time to turn my hunter red. The Feywild green sounds really interesting, actually. Just don't know, like, how crazy it's going to be. Oh, wow. Halfling foresters use this dye in their ghillie suits for camouflage. Okay, let's buy... Let's buy three of those. Do come up. Now I'm starting to get obsessed with the die game. Start with the cloak. Okay. Not bad. I guess I'm just not a huge fan of the cloak. I wonder what we can do with the helm. Didn't really change it. I think after that we should probably do the boots to get rid of that purple. There we go. Now we look much more like a ranger. Even though we're wearing heavy armor. Alright, let me just go see if Enthal is still there. And then we're going to be going into Sherris's. But I should probably pick up Lazel for that. Before we talk to Kithrak Voss. Why is everybody running from me? Oh, it's the water elemental. You going away? If your lot have cracked another bloody cask, I... They're dead, Entharl. Doppelgangers were using them as bait. Seems they snared more than they could skin in you. Did Geraldus survive? Alive. But they harper no more. <laughs> He's better off out of it. Likely you're right. I'll talk him up tight till I can ship him back to his mother. What are you going to do? Continue the hunt. Aye. Silly question, I suppose. Okay. He really wants to find Minsk. What else do we got here? Oh, I should stay away from the steel watch. Check this out. The double doors. What do we have here? Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. I, I know who this is. <laughs> if you guys played the original Baldur's Gate games, you'll know exactly who this man is a descendant of. Put what up? Yay! You spoke to me! Nobody ever talks to me! Your fist, silly. I'm trying something out. My name's Narber. Adventurer to be. Soon to be the best adventurer anyone's ever seen. As soon as I figure out what kind of adventure I want to be. What do you think? Can I be a fighter? <laughs> this is voice acted by Co Carnage, too. He's doing a really good job. Uh, here's a tip to get you started. Less talking, more fighting. Right you are. I'll just find something to punch, I guess. It won't hurt, will it? No, surely not. Okay. We'll come back to Nobber if we feel like it. <laughs> so Nuber in Baldur's Gate 1 comes up to your party and he's one of the most annoying NPCs that you'll ever meet. And he's put into the game to test a player's patience. 80% of people end up killing him. Okay, Sherris's dress. Let's go ahead and pick up Lazel. I'm going to go to camp. 
and we'll dismiss... I think I'll dismiss Jahira for this part, actually. This is going to get really interesting, I think. The Lazel in our group. It's been a while. Be damned. Her bloody fingerprints are all over this city. I have to give her an upgrade with her gear. I'd like you to it join me. Done. Okay. He's probably... Let's see what level. We got three levels with Lazel. Should be pretty simple as a champion fighter. Yeah, so we got a new feat available. I'm thinking we're going to take Great Weapon Master. You know what I mean? Let's take it. Get a feat at level six. And then at level eight, we'll go ahead and boost our strength to 20. Now we have Great Weapon Master and also a Strength of 20. Perfect. Indomitable. You have become as durable as an Iron Golem. Whenever you fail a saving throw, you roll again using the new result instead. I like the Fighter class. Simple, but deadly. Laka. Queen Vlakis. Scrum! You are a Sherlock. And still, you speak my name. I've seen the captive Orpheus with my own eyes. Spoken to Shestil Kithrak Vos. You lied to us. Enslaved us. The betrayer Vos lies! I have only a moment, and you, Hasharlak, will listen. We are Githyanki. We move mountains. We snuff out stars. We shake the plains. The traitor Voss has lied to you. The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great Dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. Can this be true? Is the Githyanki prince really a threat to his own people? Or simply a challenge to Vlakith's rule? Return to the astral prism! Slay Orpheus the Pretender! Serve me, and I will ascend you. You will be no mere warrior. Nor Kithrak, you will be Barta Vlakith, commander of dragons. My only, my chosen. A final chance. Kneel before me, make your promise. Lazar's thoughts become yours. The sight of Orpheus looms over her mind. Voss's words echo within it. She means to forever turn her back on Vlaketh. Good for her. Even after that promise of such a high position. Okay. Stand your ground. Don't fall for Vlaketh's lies. I gave you my faith. And you called me traitor. I gave you my life, and you ordered your knights to hunt me. I have witnessed too much, and you have given me too little. Finally, I can see. Orpheus will live, and I will hear his creed. This is my word. Your word is nothing. You are nothing. The Kithraki will bring you. I will tear your flesh from your bones and devour your skull's marrow while you beg for death. 
I will consume you! I will unmake you! Damn. Great voice actors. We have found a Sharin lookout. Nope, that's not what we're doing. Black hath appeared to us in camp and made Lazel an offer. Kill Orpheus. you will ascend. Lazel to the astral plane and honor her as a chosen. Lazel refused, angering Blacketh. Lazel believes Orpheus is the way forward for the Gith Yankee. We should meet Kithrak Voss and find out how to free the prince. Oh, the Emperor is not going to be happy about that. Oh, I think Lazel wants to speak again. Okay. Sure, Lazel, I'm coming. Oh yeah, look who's in the camp now. Yenna. Kid whose mother died. We met Yenna right when we came into Rivington for the first time. It is done. There is no going back. As long as the undying queen reigns, I am never to soar unbound over the astral sea. Never to cross the one in the void. As it should be. Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of lies. Better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. So why do I feel so bitter? Man, Lazel's character has really come pretty far. Oh. Did I just bug out? I don't even know what I... I clicked on continue. There was no other choices. Connect with Lazel's parasite and explore the furthest reaches of her emotions. Well, I don't... Okay. I don't think she's going to like that. Loss. It permeates every corner of Lazel's mind. Everything she knew to be true, every plan and aspiration she ever held has been painfully ripped away. Lazel's bitterness is born of sadness. She is mourning the loss of the person she once was, and can never be again. I can't explain how you feel, Lazel. Chuck. Then the feeling will fade like Vlacket's craven projection. I am her child no more. I have been born anew in Gith's son, my savior. And so from the old battle cries is birthed another. Tmar Salar Orpheus must still now forge an Inyeri. Orpheus' will above all. May the comet blaze my path forward. You've been quick to pledge yourself to Orpheus's cause. What about your own needs and wants? Orpheus's freedom is my want and my need. To deny his freedom would be to deny my own. There will come a time when I can think about myself beyond the Lich Queen who enslaves the Githyanki and the Prince who would liberate them. But that time won't come until the Prince of the Comet flies again. What next? We find Voss at Charesse's caress and retrieve the key to releasing the prince. Orpheus tough King Narsin. Well, if we decide to work with the Emperor and keep Orpheus enslaved, I have a feeling that Lazel will be turning hostile against us. I really like Lazel now. Might like her more than Shadowheart after what Shadow did. Okay, here we go. What path lies before me? Nice place. An elf. Such temptation. I loved many in my day, but never one so fair. Grace. Oh, damn. Elegance just waiting to be shattered. Oh, yes, I know your bliss. 
A sturdy dwarf, a leather <laughs> whip, she gives, you receive. Or have I misjudged you? Uh, spot on. That that sounds delightful. I thought as much. Those eyes tell a story. Punishment is your pleasure. It's fee on you seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. Oh, wait, seriously? Uh, I mean, um, okay. Snap out of it, Wolf. Snap out of it. Hey, that's the dwarf that I saw. Hold on, let's talk to her. Damn, Hoots. That new batch burns stronger than a pit fiend's fist. I'll take that as a compliment. Take it however you want. But I'll be having my usual from now on. Oh. It's Raphael's favorite misadventurer. You've put me out of pocket, you know. Raphael bet me five soul coins you'd reach the city in one piece. He rented a room upstairs in the hope that you'd drop by. We saw her back near the circus behind Lucretius's tent, and she disappeared. I think it was her. And who are you exactly? Ah, oh, I forget. We've never met. I've had my eyes and ears on you so long we feel like old friends. Carilla is my name. I'm Raphael's assistant, shall we say. Take your time. Have a drink. Sample the goods. Go see him when you're feeling refreshed. Deal with the devil. We found Raphael's servant, Carilla, on the ground floor of Sheress's caress. She told us her master awaits us on the top floor. All right, so we have to meet with Kithrak, Voss, and also Raphael. This is going to be interesting. Maybe a couple drow, too, if you catch my drift. Two men bark softly to each other. A single name reaches your ears. Nine Fingers. It's a name you know. Nine Fingers is the head of the guild, a criminal organization operating inside Baldur's Gate. Okay, let's do perception. Listen in on their conversation. Hopefully we pass this. Otherwise it could be bad. It'll be really cool if we can meet Nine Fingers Keen, the leader of the guild. You rats with the guild now. Heard Nine Fingers met a match. The new kingpin? All meat and muscle, that one. And wild as a werebear. If he's looking to house Nine Fingers, my blade's got his back. Sounds messy as the ninth hell. Must be why she called us to help. Is that right? The way I heard it, you Zent cut a deal with the new... Hold on. You there! Getting up in our affairs! <laughs> and? You're airing private matters in a brothel. <laughs> He's got you there, Spoon. Don't matter. This discussion doesn't concern you. So why don't you make tracks? Okay. Leave him be. We already had one run in with a criminal organization. Actually, two now on the beach and also the guild outside of Arfur's house. Hey, look, it's Valeria, the Holly fan. Go talk to Valeria. What's going on in here? Okay, Queen Roll, the despoiler. <laughs> this is actually a, having a great time in the brothel. You can stare as much as you like. Okay. All 
All right, let's go have a chat with the Holly fans. Could talk to the barkeep real fast too. Now, that there's a face I'd remember if I'd seen it. Welcome to Charesse's Caress. What can Hoots do for you, stranger? You got a taste for ale, I reckon. Or maybe... Ah, forget it. My new brew could drop you in the wink of a spectator's eye. What's the story of this place? Charesse Caress. The Mamsel's brainchild. Wet your tongue. Soak your skin. Scratch your itch. <laughs> Get the attention you want, and avoid the attention you don't. Show me what you have. You got it. But the new hooch is off limits. Can't have the mams all leaping down my throat if I go burning yours. Got coffee, wine, a bunch of camp supplies. Good to know. We could come back here if we need to. Pleasure to serve. You as well. You know, as much as I like my helm right now, I think it also kind of looks a little silly in the cutscenes, so let's go ahead and hide it. There we go. We look a little bit better like that. Guy we can't interact with. Another case closed, another bottle open! Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> Hang on a dick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I'll bet she's put you up to something. She asked me to find Lorgan's real killer, seeing as you can't be bothered. Why must you busybodies insist? Hissed on interrupting a perfectly good night. <laughs> oh, I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine. If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? I spoke to Brilgor's spirit. A red clad dwarf killed them both. That doesn't make sense. Why would this dwarf kill Father Lorgan? I need something more than vague allegations. Look, I appreciate the amateur investigator act. It's oddly flattering, with emphasis on the odd. But without hard evidence and an alternate motive, I consider this case closed. Really? Let's talk to him again. I presume you've found something interesting to discuss if you're interrupting me again. A group of shape-shifting assassins were under the temple, along with more murder victims. While that is startling, it still doesn't disprove my theory that Brilgor killed Father Lorgan, does it? I need proof. Hard proof. A motive, too. Otherwise, I'm... All right. Come back to him once we figure out what to do with that flowery key. Wonder where Kithrak Voss would be. Not sure if Gith Yankee would just hang out in the open in the city. Maybe they would. Wow, look at this. Worms Crossing Bridge is really an amazing place. So cool how this was developed over the past, I don't know, century or so in the Forgotten Realms. It was just a plain old bridge back in Baldur's Gate 1 in the 1360s. Okay. We'll go to the top floor and try to find Raphael. Hopefully we can find Kithrag Voss as well at some point. Question is... Um... Oh, here it is. We gotta go that way, maybe take a left. Huh. Sorry, I've just been so distracted recently. Such 
Oh no, oh my oh, god. <laughs> that wasn't supposed You know, you know what? Even though that kind of looked like a little bit of a you know what, maybe I hit my head on something that you can't see on the screen. You take risks like that. Sometimes they don't go as planned. Damn, I almost died. Yeah, back up we go. We're gonna use the knock spell on that door, or try to lockpick it if I have any thieves tools. Try to lockpick first. Nope, no thieves tools. Probably should buy some of those from a vendor at some point. With that said, I don't really have a dedicated lock picker. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. I wish I could kiss you better. I mean oh. to try. Um Okay. We'll check it out, right? It only makes sense. Imps Grotto. I have the nudity filter on. Not sure what this would look like with it off, but... God bless. They Tell ruined. me. Am I beautiful? More than beautiful. You are the aurora stretched across the north sky. You are the golden dune swept across the Kalim. Shape shifter, Raphael. You are the fruit of the forbidden palm. Soft on my skin, sweet on my tongue. You are my sin and salvation. Hey, what's up, y'all? <laughs> Your parasite stirs, and you gaze at the nymph through the flaming fist's hungry eyes. Your muscles shiver with her longing. Your skin burns with her heat. What's... What's wrong, Jara? What are you... Wait. I know you. You aren't safe. Get out of here, now! I don't understand. What? Your face. The Absolute has shown me. Jar, what's going on? Who's this man? Oh, oh wow. Your head screams in agony. The change has come. Pustules boiling beneath your skin, your bones twisting, your flesh rupturing. And suddenly, silence. What's happening? Yes. Oh my god. Oh. Wow, what is... Holy crap. The Naked Mind Flare. Oh, nice. Doesn't have any resistances or anything. Level 10, though. The party is level 9. Okay. I kind of want to save her. I don't have Sanctuary prepared, though. Otherwise, I could use it. I don't think I do. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's kick some butt. Some tentacle, actually. The lance board is set. Okay, Lazelle's up first. Let's send her up front line. Really, not too much to the champion fighter. Soulbreaker, rend the enemy's body and soul and possibly stun them. It does psychic damage, which you think a mind flayer would be resistant to, but. Awesome. You know what? Just gotta land one cantrip now. Damn it! I'm okay. You know what? We're not risking it. Or we could do pommel strike.
time to rest. Well, that was pretty crazy. Hells. I'd heard tales of mind flayers. Talons sharp as daggers and tentacles yet more fearsome. But no tail did justice to its ethereal beauty. It floats like a butterfly. Its blood shimmers like silver. Um. That thing could have killed you and you're using it on its beauty? How could I help it? I don't regret its death. But I marvel that such a work of art could ever live. Her gaze intensifies. Your breath quickens and your heart skips a beat. The woman's senses are heightened and her fire stoked. The mind flare is no mere curiosity, but an object of desire. Well then, I'm glad you're safe. As am I. My thanks are as bountiful as your courage. Okay. Take these. May you have some comfort in bitter times. Be well. Be beautiful. That was a little weird, but hey, you know, no judgment here. You do you. Superior elixir of arcane cultivation. Nice. Get a level three spell slot back. That's great. That's really good. We'll send that to probably Shadowheart, actually. Okay, let's um, let's push on. This Jara has turned into a mind flare. He is now dead. That's why I'm worried about getting rid of the, you know, Orpheus in the prison. Because I'm wondering if we're going to be turning into a mind flare if we do that, you know. Okay, where's the top floor here? I think I am on the top floor. One of these rooms must be Raphael. And the other one must be Kithrak Voss, is what I'm thinking. Looks like a Raphael type of room. Elminster's Library? What? Elminster was the wizard, if you guys remember, back in, I think it was episode maybe seven or eight. Is that blood? The Not Mountain Pass way. episode. We met Elminster, one of the most famous wizards in all of Faerun, and also a chosen of the goddess of magic herself, Mistra. And he had a nice chat with Gale and told Gale that Gale should go on a suicide mission to destroy the Absolute with his Netherese orb, and that's a big part of Gale's story here. We actually have... Another East or blast attack that we can do that I think is game over if I use it. But let's take a look in this room real fast. This is Elminster's library. One night in Nashkel, the mining town in Baldur's Gate 1. Send that to camp. Can't wait to do a lore run. Music box. Okay. It actually doesn't seem like there's anything in here. Black flare leather outfit. Surgical bed. Anyone caught pleasuring themselves in the library will be tethered to the bookcase of chained books. Any wizard caught examining the special collection without express permission will be commanded to read aloud the whole library, the passage they were enjoying, to the whole library. Anyone breaking the silence of the library will be promptly gagged. Damn. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at this. Is this going to bring us to the roof? I think it is. Don't see anything up here. Look at this. Look at the verticality in this game. This is insane. We could just start raining fireballs down if we wanted to. And actually, now that I think about it, to get through this next gate... Oh, that's back to Rivington, actually. 
when we leave this place and try to make it to the actual lower city, we have to go this way. I wonder if we can come up here and maybe Misty Step somewhere. Not sure. Not seeing anything up here, though, so let's go back down. And go check out that other room. Look, there's going to be so many secrets in this game. When I do, like, a completionist run. The Devil's, Devil's Den. Den. Okay, here we go. I'm going to hit F5. Oh my gosh, Kithrak Voss is in here, too. What? They're together? You must hear me, Devil. I will do whatever it takes. Give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it. And you never will. The Kithrak? What deal would he make with this devil? You must help me, Raphael. For the sake of my people. Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Lazel, Talak Magir. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now. You could seal our fate. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. I'm glad you came. Not to my door. Not yet. But to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. We're going to the House of Hope. First time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. Another party trick. Show me something real. That was no party trick. Somebody's missing. Can't you tell? That illithid you keep in your pocket can't hear us anymore. Wow. And speak freely, Raphael. Tell me why you brought me here. I brought you here because I'm true to my word. And I can make all of this tadpole business go away. Which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Let us speak plain. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far. But no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you, and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. The Astral Prism? In a manner of speaking. But it's the one inside the prison that you need. Not the Illithid. The Gith. I can give you the means to break him free. Speak, devil. We're listening. And why would I want to free him? I suppose you'd rather suck on the Emperor's tentacles till the end of your days? Orpheus, 
is your only hope of surviving this horror show without devolving into an illithid. To you, you will be a friend. After all, you're at war with an elder brain. Hmm. The Emperor is the only reason I'm still alive. No. Orpheus is the only reason you're still alive. The Emperor is abusing the gift for its own ends. And it's doing the same to you. You're nothing more than the beast of burden that will transport it to the Elder Brain. An ox requires food and the occasional beating to keep it moving. You are simpler. The Emperor's words serve as both carrot and stick. Perhaps it is true that Orpheus would ally with you against the Elder Brain. But if he proves uncooperative once free, you may have to kill him. Being pulled in so many different directions right now. Larian makes it really hard to know what is right and what is wrong. Makes the story so interesting. Never trust the devil. Can I really trust the emperor? Mind flare that's been living in my brain that wants me to turn into a mind flare? Need to ask some other companions their opinions right now. Clearly Lazel wants me to free Orpheus. And I do like Lazel, and I think I may even trust her more than most others. Seems like she's a straight shooter. She knows the error of her ways and she's changed now. Doesn't support Black Blacketh anymore. It was a nice turning point for her that made me trust her even more. How do I free Orpheus? The Orphic Hammer. An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely in my House of Hope even now. It's very convenient that you have exactly what I need. Isn't it just? And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. This is where it gets tricky. Just tell me what you want, Raphael. I want the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. And you, Lazel of Kalir. Want to free the Forgotten Prince, do you not? I want nothing more. Then it is settled, is it not? A crown for a hammer. A bargain of a lifetime, Lazel of Kilir. Handing that crown to this devil will be like feeding gunpowder to a lava worm. Agree to nothing. What exactly is the crown? Power. Ancient and full of wonder. I have craved it ever since the Archwizard Casas created it long centuries ago and brought doom to the Empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity and Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky like angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. <laughs> it was not a happy meeting. And Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it No a way. God. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Cassus's folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it... Hope. The hope of creating a better world 
and the perils of unchecked hubris. I knew then that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils, and that I could use that crown to unite the Nine under one Archdevil Supreme, me. He wants to become the ruler of the Nine Hells over Asmodeus with the crown. That is insane. And also, the fact that Larian was able to tie the crown into the event known as Karsus's Folly, which is when the Nether East Empire came crashing to the ground, is crazy. Is the, the specifics of that event in Forgotten Realms history have always been a little vague. Now Larian, and probably working with wizards, was able to create this crown that ties back to that event. Karsus, the spell that he cast, called Karsus' Avatar, supposed to make him a god, it must have to do with this crown. Really cool, the lore that we're getting, and I'll have to do some videos in the future further explaining this stuff. Why didn't you take the crown then and there? The archdevil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged. But only for a decade or so. Then I waited ever watching for more than a thousand years for a mistake, a mishap, a misadventure. And these chosen, who have caused you so much trouble accidentally, did me a favor. They brought the crown back into play. Raphael getting the crown and taking control of the Nine Hells. I mean... Not, probably not good. But also, that wouldn't be our immediate problem. We could maybe solve our immediate problem, which is the Elder Brain and the Absolute and the Nether Stones with Gortash and Orin, and then just pray that Raphael with the Crown and the Nine Hells doesn't become a problem too, which it most likely would at some point. How did they come to have the crown? Through the aid of a diabolist, somebody capable of opening a portal to the hells. Deep in the hells. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. Impressive, I must admit. But they'll be dead soon. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> But it seems rather angry. It is inevitable. When you destroy the brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. Now? A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. He claims his ambition is to unite the Hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? No. Skvar! We should do as the Devil asks. The Prince of the Comet must rise again. Hmm. I'd rather destroy the crown, Raphael, than risk it falling into the wrong hands again. How short-sighted. Much better to put it into the right hands. Hands that will ensure it is removed from this world. 
And it's the only way you can ensure that you remain part of this world. I can't do it. As tempting as it is, I can't do it. You just can't trust a devil like that. And Raphael is clearly a manipulative, intelligent devil. No deal, Raphael. I'm leaving. I won't stop you. But time is running out. So, don't stay away for long. If you see reason, I'll be here, waiting. Right up to the moment the world ends. Okay, I'm happy with that decision. Because it looks like we can come back to Raphael and still take that deal. And that is what I was hoping for. Because I have no idea what I want to do right now. This is tough. The story in this game and the decisions we have to make might be some of the most intense, you know, somewhat choice paralysis type decisions that I've ever had to make in an RPG. Any artifact that could command an Elder Brain must be close to omnipotent. But for it to be the very crown Carcass forged, it verges on unbelievable. I assure you, the hammer Raphael offered is mere scrap metal in comparison, whatever use he claims for it. We should pay a visit to Sorcerer's Sundries. Their book collection is the envy of the Sword Coast. I'm certain the truth lurks somewhere on their shelves. I like Gal's plan. Sounds like an excellent idea. The only kind I have? <laughs> ha! Sorcerer's Sundries is no mere trading post. It's been serving the arcane community for centuries. Their collection of rare tomes is, is unparalleled. I mean, nethery sects are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. I like that plan the best. I'm not sure how Lazel is going to feel about our decision, though. The means to loosing the Prince of the Comet was within our grasp, and you refused it. Why? Interesting. Look at the first response. We can take the hammer from the House of Hope ourselves. Don't know if that's true, but I might tell that to Lazel. Now let's go with number two. I don't trust the devil. That Orphic hammer is probably worthless. Don't be a fool. A broker is as bound by his contract as his buyer. The hammer must be real, or Raphael could never take the crown. Lucky for us, we've another option. Glory be to the comet. The devil keeps the Orphic hammer in his lair. If we can find a way in, we can take it. Okay. I'll use it to smash the true as bonds. Yisk Githgar Tafki crash it. The Githyanki will be free. First to Voss, then to Raphael's House of Hope. Just don't expect a lavish spread awaiting us this time. Now there's no way to know if the decisions I'm making are the right ones or not, but this actually kind of seems like it's going right right now. Which is a nice... Oh. I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. Oh. It was nice to have a moment of peace and quiet. I can understand that. There's reprieve in solitude. But it's concerning that something could intervene like that. Especially when we are so close to the Elder Brain. Do you have any idea what it was? Man. Low charisma character. You know, I'm starting to feel quite suspect. I mean, I always have felt a little suspicious of the Emperor. Last episode of the episode before, I started to feel a little bit more trust, a little bit more comfortable with him. But now I'm starting to be highly suspect again. All right, let's, uh, we're going to try to deceive. It was the Elder Brain. It was trying to take hold of me. And actually, regardless of how this turns out, it looks like I'm not going to pass because it's 25. I need a 20. 
the way that the Emperor reacts to this may be telling us quite a lot. Pass or fast. A blatant lie. You're trying to deceive me. But why? Someone must have intervened. Someone you don't want me to know about. You Damn. feel the touch of the Emperor's mind peeling at the edge of yours, trying to gain access and succeeding. Raphael, of course, I should have known the devil would come sniffing. The stench of impending chaos is irresistible to them. And what did he want with you? Hmm, crying into my brain like that. That's between me and Raphael. I see. Again, the Emperor pries at the boundaries of your thoughts. Invasive. Curious. You're the one who's always talking about trust. If you trust me, you'll stop this right now. That is... a fair request. You feel its presence withdrawing from the fringes of your awareness. I shall respect your privacy on this occasion. But know that if you have jeopardized our mutual project, I will be forced to reconsider our alliance. Now come, we have an elder brain to destroy. Well, he already kind of forced his way into our mind a little bit. Okay, let's go talk to Kithrak Voss. Like I have a lot of potential alliances going on right now, but... A lot of them could come crashing down at any time. These alliances are held by a very, very thin thread. We refused Raphael's deal, but the devil said he'll be there if we reconsider. We learned that the key to freeing Orpheus from his chains is in the astral prism. Oh, in the astral prism is the Orphic hammer. It's in Raphael's possession. So tracking down his lavish abode in the Hells, the House of Hope may be our best bet. That's really cool. I didn't think Larian would let us actually do that, but it sounds like we will be able to. Raphael proposed a deal. If he gives us the Orphic hammer, the key to freeing Orpheus, we give him the crown of Karsus once we defeat the Elder Brain. He refused. We should probably talk to Voss, who's waiting in the Sheriff's Caress Taproom. Hey! You paid Raphael a visit. Oh, he's right here. I ran right by him. How'd I miss a Gith Yankee? Voss, friend to the Comet. Lazel of Kalir, warrior of warriors. Tell me you took the devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. I will find another way to liberate Orpheus, boss. I did not come this far for you to turn your back on the first mother's son. Gith cards have come crashed. You put your trust in me, Voss. I plan to honor it. Yes, and it seems I have no choice but to trust. There is but one prism, and you are its key. Find a way to retrieve the hammer and free Orpheus from the prism. I will assemble his remaining honor guard and plan our next actions. Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kithraki against the Geich. Is Tick. I will wait in the underground. Seek me when you have the hammer in hand. Orpheus sensed the tadpole before and his guard attacked. Won't he attack if we free him? The prince of the comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason. I promise you. 
Any idea where Raphael might keep the Orphic Hammer? A devil of Raphael's stature does not simply make camp on the shores of the Styx. He will have made a sanctuary for himself, a lavish one too, one that caters to his many vices. The House of Hope. We must find a way in. The House of Hope, you say? I couldn't ask for a name more fitting. Every house has an entrance, Istic. Even those in the Hells. You must find it. You are wasting your time. And mine. Our true enemy is the Elder Brain. Focus your mind there. So I was about to end the episode right there, but I ended up running out here. And walking past this door right here gave me an update on the Solve the Open Hand Temple Murders quest. So instead of ending the episode, let's go ahead and finish that little side quest if it doesn't take too long. And that'll be a nice stopping point because I think after that we're probably leaving the Rivington District. So if you come up to this door right here, I think something happens. Flipped it. Frago's flop pass. There we go. Solve the open hand temple murders. Frago's flop house is adorned with flowery motifs, matching the key we found underneath the open hand temple. We should see what that key unlocks. Let's go ahead and see if we can find anything in here. Give me three days and... Oh, I... Apologies. Thought you were someone else. Greetings, so forth, so on. Who did you think I was? The landlord. Sir Frago Antuna. A most generous soul, I assure you. Okay. I think we're looking for... I'm not exactly sure. Something to open up with a flower key. Got a basement here. I can't believe I got kicked out of the temple. How's an adventurer supposed to do a damn job around? If I click on these, these will all be stealing. One more mark, then we can go. Disadvantage with stealth right now. Mark. That doesn't sound good. Well, hello, beautiful. Aren't you a sight to behold? You must oh, excuse man. my brother. He forgets that we have a very pressing engagement. You must excuse my sister. She's a terrible bore. But you look like someone who enjoys a party. There's a celebration being held in the palace of Casador Czar. Why not join us? Vampire spawn. Uh, I don't know. I don't normally accept invitations from strangers. Oh, thank goodness we're such good friends, then. This is not the time, Petras. Oh, yes, dear sister, I know we have places to be. We'll leave once our good friends here have departed. I look forward to seeing you at the palace, though. It'll be a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I promise. Wow, I almost <laughs> turned into mist. Didn't know they could do that. I almost didn't click on those NPCs. Just shows you how much is in this game. And that is part of Astarion's quest. We met what looked like two vampires spawn in Frego's flop house. They invited us to a party in Casador Zar's place. Sounds like something sinister is going on. We should investigate. I definitely plan on doing that at some point. Never a dull moment. Well, we got to make it to the city first.
got a ladder right here. Nothing suspect in here. Imagine being in this room. That would be terrifying. <laughs> be really cool though. Um, let's see. Okay, let's go check out the ladder. What do we got up here? Now we can start opening things. Nobody's around. Do I want to steal from this place? I don't know, man. I don't think I need to. Then again, the owner... We're gonna steal. The owner doesn't seem like a good person. Pitcher of beer? Absolutely. Um... That shapeshifter's key unlocked the door. Interesting. Whoa. Okay. Malice. Coat your active weapon with poison. Oil of combustion. On hit, coated weapon covers its target in oil for two turns. Little balcony here. A sheep butchered with creative... Okay. Sky's kit. We're going to take that. Temple plan. These tunnels were full of shapeshifters. Father Logan's name is written here too. Or onto something. Messy splatters of deep red brown adorn the scrap of parchment. Those wishing to face the Dread Lord's Tribunal and enter the Temple of Baal must slay the targets on this list and frame the corpses as a murder by the Cult of the Absolute. Bring the victim's hand as proof of the killing. Walk in blood, aspirant. Whoa, Duke Stelmane's on here. Elf Song Tavern killed. Father Lorgan. Dribbles the clown. We're going to keep this letter, that's for sure. A few of these people haven't been killed yet. Those wishing to face the Dread Lord's Tribunal and enter the Temple of Baal must slay the targets on this list. This is getting exciting. We'll take that. We'll take the Temple plans with us, too. Father Lorgan's name appeared on a target list we found. Tying his murder into a test for cultists to access the Temple of Baal. We should show Investigator Valeria. Alright, so back to the Hollyfant we go. Another bloodstained note right here. Blood near the bed. Notice some blood has pooled on the wooden floor. Ranger survival. Follow the metallic scent of the blood. Track its origin. You notice the blood source. A body hidden under the bed. Fifion gold grind. He has a key, a flower-shaped key with five scratched into the petals. It's identical to the one held by that corpse in the tunnels. Yeah, we also found a list of people marked for death. If we kill two targets from this list and bring a severed hand as proof, we can stand before the murder tribunal and enter the Temple of Baal. Wow, that is going to be fun to do on an evil run. That's awesome. I think we're going to have to find a different way on this character, though. Alright, let's do Speak with the Dead. No sound effects. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Who are you? Theon Gold Grind. What is this place? Landlord. Contraband storage. How did you die? Murdered by my son. 
Wow. Filial betrayal, is it? A tale as old as the gods themselves. Oh, wow, that opened up a ton of questions, but we only have five questions to ask. Where can I find your son? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Who is your son? The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Man. The amount of, like, content in this game is insane. Like, I could have just came in and grabbed the note and then left, but then, like, we found a key, we did speak with the dead. Okay, let's go talk to Valeria. We can probably just fast travel. Yep. I presume you found something interesting to discuss if you're interrupting me again. Father Lorgan's murder is just one part of a bigger plot. A ball plot. A ball plot? You as well? Devella's been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy cods wallop and fear-mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. Oh, <sighs> fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? Why should I tell you? Doesn't sound like you even care. Well, that's just insulting. I am an investigator, you know. But I'm off the clock. And this is Develler's pet project. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list, and I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you access to the lower city. Nice. Uh, what are you doing? Well, what are you waiting for? You've a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move. My character's face during that. Okay, so I guess we are. We got a lower city pass. That's exciting. That means we can get into the lower city without having to. Hope I don't know. Maybe we'll have to go through that checkpoint where one of the steel watch is going to connect to my brain. I'm not sure. Investigator Valeria is now convinced Father Lorgan's murder is linked to a wider plot and has asked us to bring the news to a constable, Gauntlet Devella, in the Lower City's Elfsong Tavern. That is so, so exciting. Elfsong Tavern, obviously, you could visit in the original Baldur's Gate game. But it's also the tavern that the Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance action RPGs uh, start in, in Dark Alliance 1. That's really exciting. But this is going to be a great time to... All it quits for this episode. The episode is quite long, and we have learned a lot, and we have a lot of decisions to make. Not exactly sure where this story is going to go, but I can't wait to find out. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next episode.